What's up guys, it is Sam here from Market Movers again and today I want to talk about what happened basically on Friday. So last Friday was a brutal day in the markets. Everything was down nearly 3% from the Dow, the S&P, the Nasdaq. Um, everything has been down, crypto is down massively as well. And basically this is in reaction to comments by uh, the head of the Federal Reserve, uh, Jerome Powell. So basically I want to discuss like where we are at the moment in the markets, uh, where things are going to go over the next while, uh, we know what's going on from uh, just a, a basic kind of point of view, what is happening and are we on the, the track to a, a massive recession or where do we think that we are going to be going? Like, so I'm just going to give a structured overview on what is actually happening at the moment, how some of my stocks are performing at the moment as well. So, guys, I just want to get straight into this and kind of explain a little bit about what is happening in the current environment. So, look, I will see you in the video. So first off, I want to touch on Powell's comments. So Powell's basically said that this inflation is going to last longer and the fight against it is going to last longer. So basically indicating that rates are going to continue to go up further and further. This is negative for the market. So a lot of these companies are operating off cheap money. They're operating that they can lose money for a very long time because it is cheap to borrow it. But this situation is not going to last. Um, so the money is getting more and more expensive. The Fed is going to aggressively hike rates even further um, and basically until they get inflation down to their target of 2%. So he does see some pain ahead for inflation still, even though they have been aggressive in increasing interest rates. So he also warns basically that the economy could have some hardship in the near to short term future as well. So the markets are digesting this. Like, and people were saying, oh, this kind of stuff was already priced into the markets. but it still reacts as if a human being like throwing its uh, uh, toys out of the pram. Uh, so the market reacted to his comments and that's why it was down uh, 3% uh, based just on Friday's readings. Like So look, the fight against inflation is going to be going on. All the Western countries are dealing with this um, in, in inflation because of all the crazy money printing that went on. Um, it's very, very high in the UK. It's high here in Ireland as well. Um, and they're basically saying that this is going to continue for another while until interest rates do really take hold of the economies and do bring inflation down and suppress demand as much as possible. But yeah, so his comments have really, really shaken the markets um, a little bit on Friday. So this, that's kind of one of the, the main points why it has fallen. But this, this fight against inflation, it, it seems to have peaked in a lot of different areas. So the barrel of oil is stabilized in around the 100 mark or maybe just below it at the moment. People are saying there's still going to be another oil shock to come, like, but look, people always predict the worst. This might not potentially happen. And basically over the long term, these things do work themselves out. So the way I'm positioning myself, I'm buying in consistently. I'm buying in consistently. Uh, nearly every day at the moment uh, just a small amount of money just going in every day into the markets just to get a good average position and i'm just gone basically just down to etfs at the moment but there is room for concern like look valuations are still stretched on a lot of companies um we've had a massive bull run over the last few years we have to realize this that valuations are not usually like this uh, we have to accept that there is going to be room for these to fall and to normalize all this kind of part of market cycles and look for some people our age it is definitely a good thing if the markets do fall it allows us to buy good companies at cheap prices basically to to make uh, like a lot of money over the long term like so where the markets go over the long term they generally always go up they always go in that direction and that's exactly where it does go over the long term unless there's a complete and utter disaster and um, where it won't matter what your stocks are doing. So basically at the moment I'm positioning myself more of in a conservative way. I'm not taking any massive risks. I do still own a small part of crypto but I'm slowly exiting out of crypto. That also got a hammering in reaction to these comments as well because crypto does feed off a low interest rate environment and it's never been active in a, in a, in a rare a Federal Reserve hiking cycle and most of the money in crypto does come from the United States. So we could have a lot of volatility in that area over the next couple of months. I don't see it going anywhere. I think it's going to continue to be up and down just based on little bits of news um, like crypto. Like I I agree with this to in, in degrees, 
but I do think it's a, a case where you, if you're putting money into it, you do need to accept that you will possibly lose all that money. Um, well, obviously, with the hacks and stuff going on, you need to keep it on cold storage and that kind of stuff as well. Like, so that's my position on crypto. Like, I'm buying in a small bit of it, like, but um, I, I wouldn't advise anybody to do it. It's definitely not um, the safest investment at the moment, especially with these interest rate hikes coming in. It's going to suffer a lot more pain in the short-term future. Like, so look, the, the markets at the moment are a very volatile place. It could be a pretty scary place to be in, but you have to accept that over the longer term these things do work themselves out and if you're buying in consistently sometimes you are going to overpay for stuff sometimes you're going to underpay for stuff and you're going to get a good average as the markets do increase over time so look i think you you still should be buying into the the markets ignoring the fear the, the, that's going on and consistently putting in your amount every month and then you're going to end up with a good average over the next um decade or 20 years or so so that's where I'm at at the moment. I think that a lot of this stuff that goes on in the short term, people react to it. There's no need to react to it. It's completely insane that it reacts so much to this. But uh, we do have to appreciate the valuations on companies are stretched at the moment. They have been stretched for some time and the market could see um, so a good correction. So we've had we had a correction this year, but it's, it's kind of come back up in the last month or so. Um, so we haven't really had um, a proper crash uh, yet. It's uh, It could be around the corner. September and October are generally dodgy months for the stock market. So there could be some pain ahead in the next two months or so. So like you, if you just kind of ignore the fraud and buying consistently, you don't need to be worrying about your investments. You know that they will um, come good over time, especially if you're my age, it doesn't really matter too much to you. But if you're in the old generation, you're coming towards retirement, then yeah, the, these kind of things are stressful they're not what you want if you're just coming up to retirement age like so that you could be looking to reevaluate your situations like but yeah guys look i hope you kind of learn kind of what's going on in the moment where i'm standing and how i feel about the markets and how i feel about stocks and crypto and how i'm investing so over the next while as well so guys i hope you enjoyed this we learned a lot from it uh, and thanks for liking and subscribing all of our videos it's absolutely fantastic and look i will see you in the next one thank you